Hey what is going on everyone this is iReviews back with another video and today we're talking about the new features of iOS 14 and watchOS 7. In the past few hours there has been a huge leak of features of iOS 14 and watchOS 7. We are like months away from the first beta of iOS 14 and watchOS 7 but this leak has revealed a lot of new features and changes that are coming to both iOS 14 and Watch OS 7 as well. Now you will be able to test the beta version of both of these softwares in June. There will be WWDC 2020 in which you will see the first beta of iOS 14 and Watch OS 7 as well. But now we have like some major leaks of new features and changes. So in this video, we're going to talk all about them. So let's get right into them and see what's new on iOS 14 and Watch OS 7. Some major new features are coming to iMessage with iOS 14. Now all this has been reported by 9to5Mac, which of course will be linked right down below. Now, first of them will be mentions. So you know that on social media, when you're like commenting or something, you can mention someone by using the add button. So you add the add button and you can mention a person to basically tag them on that comment or, or whatever you're sending, like a message or something. Now you will have the same feature with iMessage on iOS 14. You will be able to use the add button to tag any person on your conversations. And that's really, really cool. A very nice feature to have with iMessage. Also a new feature with iMessage will be the ability to delete messages. So you will be able to basically delete unsend messages, but both you and the recipient will know that that message has been deleted. So you can delete the message, not just for you, but for both of people on the conversation. And also another feature is typing indicators. You know that with iMessage, we have typing indicators, but only when you're on a conversation with someone, not on group conversations. Now with iOS 14, you will have message, basically typing indicators even on group messages. So when you're chatting with a lot of people, you will see the message, message indicator right there, basically the typing indicator that shows which person is typing. These are like three quite big features that are coming to iOS 14 on iMessage. You know, on the App Store, there are a lot of fitness apps that show you how to do different exercises. You can download a lot of them, of course, most of them are paid, you'll have to pay a paid subscription or something like that. But with iOS 14, Apple is adding a new standalone app for fitness. Now this app might be called Fit or Fitness, we don't know whether it will be called Fit or Fitness, but there will be a standalone fitness app. Now that will be separate from the activity app which you're seeing right here. So with iOS 14, you will get this new app which will also be on Watch OS 7. So basically what this app does is that it allows us to download different videos that show you how you can do different exercises when you're working out at your home or somewhere. You will have that standalone which standalone app which also will be free and will show you how you can perform different exercises of course apple is huge on health and they're bringing this new app to ios 14. there are also major new changes coming to the cursor on ios 14 and ipad os 14. so you know with ios 13 and ipad os 13 now you will have the ability to connect a bluetooth mouse to your device and of course use that very very easily on your iPad or on your iPhone as well. So now what Apple is doing with iOS 14 and iPad OS 14, they bringing new features to the cursor so it will be more like a Mac cursor. So you can see this right here. This is the actual cursor that you get with iOS 13 and iPad OS 13. But with the new features coming to the cursor, it will be more like the Mac cursor. So it will have way more feature of features of course making it very very easy and very convenient using a mouse on your iPad especially because on the iPhone of course there's 
it may be a bit harder to use in mouse and I don't really believe you need a mouse on the iPhone, but with iPad OS 14, there will be huge new features coming to the cursor and that will be really, really awesome. Another cool feature that is coming on iPad OS 14 is a new Apple Pencil OCR feature. Now, what that does is that it allows you to basically turn any handwritten text like this one into a, basically a text that you type with your keyboard. So that will be supported on any app on iOS 14 and iPad OS 14. So anything that you write with your Apple Pencil that will be converted, can be converted into text. And as I said, that will support any app on iOS 14 and iPad OS 14. There has also been a huge leak on watch OS 7 features. So basically this reveals a lot of new features that are coming with watch OS 7. And one of them is three new watch faces. So of course you can never get like enough watch faces or some pretty cool ones and watch OS 7 will add three extra ones. And with watch OS 7, you will also have the ability to share watch faces. Now, there is not exactly known how this will should go, how it will be, but probably it will be through the Apple Watch app on the iPhone. That way you will be able to share the watch faces. I don't believe that you will be able to do that from the watch, probably it will be through the iPhone app. And Watch OS 7 will also feature a new Infograph Pro watch face. So this is the Infograph that's on watch OS 6 right now, and there will be a new one called Infograph Pro. Now this will feature a new like complication that you can add to it, and it's called Touch Meter. Now what this does is that it measures speed and also distance. So based on traveling time, it can measure speed and distance, and that will be a very, very cool new feature to have on the Apple Watch. So the Apple Watch on Watch OS 7 is also finally bringing a built-in tr sleep tracking app. That might be probably an app, a standalone app, maybe a complication, but I don't believe so. It should be a standalone app for the wa Apple Watch that will track your sleep. You know, with the Apple Watch, you can get a lot of those apps on the App Store but nothing has been by default on the Apple Watch. And now it looks like Apple is adding a default watch face, watch app that will allow you to track your sleeping. There will be also some new changes on the control center of the Apple Watch. You will have two new toggles on the Apple Watch control center. So there will be a toggle that will allow you to turn on or off the sleeping mode. And also there will be a new toggle for noise detection. So two new toggles are coming to the control center on the Apple Watch and these might be coming to iOS 14 on the iPhone as well. So you will have those toggles that allow you to quickly access those features. Another feature with Watch OS 7 is set to be Apple Watch for kids and also school time. So basically this allows parents through their iPhone to control the watch of their kids. So when school time, they can choose which apps or which complications kids can use while at school time. So that will be very, very welcome for parents that can control their, their kids' Apple Watch through their iPhone. So a parent iPhone with a kid Apple Watch can be controlled, the kid Apple Watch can be controlled from the parents iPhone and of course set restrictions just like we see on screen time set restrictions on what they can use and do on their app Apple watch so that's basically it for this video guys these are some of the new features and changes that have been leaked and are coming to iOS 14 iPad OS 14 and watch OS 7 as well so a pretty huge leak months away from the first beta of iOS 14 and watch OS 7 this leak has come from 9 to 5 Mac they have reported it and as I said at the beginning of the video they will of course be linked right down below in the description of the video so again thank you guys for watching for more iOS 14 iPad OS 14 and watch OS 7 news. Make sure to subscribe to not miss any new leaks and features. And I thank you for watching this video and I'll see you guys on the next one.